Lonnie the theater lady. I hear grease is the word the today. The word is the word. Oh, don't get me singing. I'm That's doing, always a disaster. I you will know that. do everything within my power. <laughs> to prevent that. Yes. And that's very wise. <laughs> I know. This was performed, this is being performed at the yep. Viam Theater by PMT. And I have to say, PMT's production of Grease is an energetic and joyous slice of nostalgia. Mm. It's directed by Trey Compton. And... I was just so pleased by this production. Oh. Um, the, one of the real strengths of it, I feel, were the big production numbers. There must be over 40 people in the cast. And oh, yeah. Well, you know, it's uh, high school, right? So yes. They got all, Rydell all these high kids school. running around. Yeah. In 1957, Rideau mm -hmm. High. But the big production numbers were so polished and the dancing was so synchronized and there was so much attention to detail in those big numbers. I'd say this was the real strength of the show. Mm -hmm. Even the costumes looked as though they had been placed color-wise and they were these big splashes of color against this vibrant set that was just bursting with color. Mm -hmm. So it was visually really a treat as well as auditorily. Oh good, auditorily. Is that a word? It's a bunch of teenagers at Rydell High School in the late 50s and all the teenage angst and drama. And there are uh, two main characters who are love interests, but not at the beginning. You know, they're Danny Zuko, played by Danny G, is so charming the way he plays the role and has so much charisma that you're really rooting for him to win the heart of Sandy Dombrowski, hmm. who's played by Laura Hayhurst. And she is just so sweet in this role that you just really hope that they get together. And I, I won't spoil it oh, by gee, telling yeah. if they do or not because <clears throat> nobody knows. <laughs> and the bad girl was played by the bad girl Rizzo uh -huh. is played by Laura or Larissa. I'm sorry, Larissa uh -huh. Overholt, who is always such a pleasure. She's so versatile, and I just love her voice. Three of the musical numbers that really stood out to me that I thought were so beautifully sung. Uh, that I wanted to mention, and the one was Quinn Patrick Shannon, mm -hmm. who sang the song, it's called Mooning, but I, I like to add some of the words to it so it isn't misleading, you know, in the 50s. Of mooning. <laughs> oh, you yeah, like to add words to yeah, it. Yeah, it's, no, Mooning Over You, no. that's not really the name of the song, but oh. I just wanted to clarify that that's what it was about. Okay, and good he, call. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and he had so much yearning in his voice. Yearning, and, good yeah, word. And he just performed it so beautifully. But what the hell tight. is mooning, actually? Uh, I mean, you don't want me to demonstrate Well, that. no, I know, like, it's, you know, showing your backside. Right. But that's not what this means in this song, right? No, it means... So that's what I'm asking. What does it mean? That's, what, a, that's an old expression. You right, know I mean, you're mooning for somebody? That means Like pining away for yeah, them? Yeah, you, you really... How's it, how do we get that from mooning? Like, where, um, where did that come from? No, maybe because the full moon is considered to be romantic. Well, nobody uses it anymore, right? Well, they did in this. They used a lot of terms you haven't heard recently. Like for cigarettes, they call them ciggy butts, which I thought was hilarious. <laughs> you probably don't remember hearing that term. Uh, well, I, I cigarette ciggy butt. butt. I no, ciggy butt. I am. And they also did a lot of the hearty har har. Oh, which, literally said hearty har har. Yeah, which goes back to, I think, Jackie Gleason. I'm not sure. But anyway, that was one of the songs I really enjoyed. And Erin Lindsay Crone did a song called Freddie My Love. And when she sings this song, it's so beautiful. And she just appears to be so much in love with Freddie. It's, it's As the title would imply. Yeah, and it, not necessarily one of my favorite songs from the show in general, but the way she sang it, sings mm -hmm. it, it's just beautiful. And the other production that was really exciting was Beauty School Dropout. Mm -hmm. which I think is a hilarious name. And Jack Hunt, who sings with Johnny Angel and the Halos, was in this production, and this was kind of his song. Oh. And it was such a fun number because all the glitz and the glamour and the sparkle and the costumes, choreography, just really fun to watch, really memorable. I, I think anybody that sees the show will walk away remembering that song. Right. Really. And if I could have tweaked one thing, which I couldn't because I wasn't in charge, but in the first act, uh, the orchestra was kind of 
overpowering the voices sometimes oh, yeah. and that was a little disconcerting well you get an instrument in your hand and you just get so excited i guess to be there playing music you yeah. just go nuts like animal from the muppet show so there's a grease two what is that about have you ever seen it? No, I didn't even know there was It's one. a movie. I don't think they've dared make it into a stage play. At least I hope not. So, and it's called Grease because that's what dudes put in their hair. I think time. so. <laughs> Mm-mm. Nope, 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 nope. Um, I would not have done well in this time period because this show implies that if you're a guy, you're either a nerd or you work on cars. And there's like, you know, no in between. Or there might be like a jock peppered in there somewhere. But um, I'd be the kid sitting on the bleachers with a martini glass. Being like, <laughs> oh, this is also droll. <laughs> you don't, you I don't even like cooking with it, let alone putting it on my head. <laughs> 